Okay, I'm going to go through uh, three different ways that you can pack your direct and forward clutches. Uh, right, right now what we're going to do today is we're going to do a five disc. Uh, the video before this, we just packed the piston uh, and went through the springs and everything like that. And we're getting ready to do this. So uh, I decided uh, we're going to show how to do this three different ways. The first way to put this together um, is we've got two different piles of clutch discs. And I've got them a little mixed up. We're doing brand new. I'm using a, a 77 thousandths uh, thick forward steel, Ray Vestas, and I'm using a 91 thousandths thick direct steel. Uh, steels for direct, other steels for forward. However, they interchange and you can use them to adjust your clutch pack width. What this was originally was a five disc setup. I've already soaked uh, my Raybestos clutches, uh, these, no these ain't Raybestos, these are Borg Warner today, sorry. I use a lot of different materials. Uh, we're doing a five disc clutch smooth and uh, for demonstration purposes what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you how this looks from the factory since this is a five disc setup. We're going to do steel clutch, steel clutch, steel clutch and I'm going to show you what to look for uh, instead of having to get all screwed up trying to measure clearances and everything else. Okay. Two. Another direct. Three. Another direct. Four. And another direct. And five. And this is a five disc right there as it sits and this is how you would put the direct backing plate on put in the clip so let's zoom this in here and I'm going to show you what we're going to look for here now right here you see where I'm going you're looking for how this disc sits to the edge and right here I can feel with the little screwdriver it's sitting just above it so we're going to be tight another thing you can check when you drop it on here originally is I can hear it hit the disc instead of hitting the drum metal to metal. So when we put, when we zoom out here again, so we're going to put the clip on here. Okay, here we go. This is going to spin, but it's going to spin very stiff. Now, in a street vehicle, such as, let's say, a daily driven vehicle, uh, like a big tuna boat back in the day, this is how they came. They would break themselves in, last for 100,000 miles or longer. Uh, but it is a little bit tight. Uh, would I do this anything other than like a restoration or like let's say a tow truck? <sighs> Probably not. But this is the way it would have come in this drum with this piston right out of the factory. Now you got to keep in mind these are aftermarket clutch discs and aftermarket steels that you're putting into a drum that's 40 years old. So if you want to do it this way, this is the way it's supposed to be done according to the manufacturer and the ATSG book. I think it's too tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute come on now one of your direct steels with a forward steel which is going to take about 12 thousandths out. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 14 or 15 thousandths out of the clutch pad. Now, let's go back here again. Now I'm feeling along in here. Now it's very close now. I, it's almost, you can't feel the ridge hardly at all. I want to say it's between 30 and 70 thousandths is the actual spec on the uh, clearance for the clutch pack. And you're going, well, Bomber, what the hell? You don't leave any clearance at all. No, because this backing plate's going to flip up. And there is a gap there. So we're kind of circumventing that gap. I know there's a gap there. See, there's about 20, 25 right there. I mean, it'd be better if I bent the feeler gauge, but I'm not going to do that. 
I can tell you that it's there. And you can look at this, it's going to spinning a lot more acceptable now. This, ha this feels about how it should. Now, this is what I would put in any kind of street strip vehicle right here. Now I might use different style clutches like a like a waffle clutch or an alto red and go with a choline or something like that uh, for a street strip or like a heavy towing application this is how I would set it up right here. Now how would I set this up for performance? Depends on what I would want to do. Like uh, I mean for demo derby, I there's two different ways you can set it up for demolition derby. You can go, okay, put in a steel clutch, steel clutch, and stack in two or three other steels in the middle, and then put two more clutches and run a four disc pack with extra steels in the middle for a heat sink. And that has been successful. Built many a tra championship transmissions doing that. But what we found in the later years as the LS motors have come about and uh, just people want more horsepower and more show um, and especially with the, the quick action of these cable shifters you have to change how these do. So you, I've gone back to a 5 disc setup. I haven't seen the need for a 6 disc setup yet but we're going to go a direct steel forward clutch direct clutch forward clutch and now I'm going to put a thick direct steel on it again I may have not kept my names correct but let's see where we're at on that now what I'm looking for is to see some steel back in that golden area right here. I'm looking for steel right here. And I'm not seeing it. I'm going to go the other way. Let's take that direct. Let's put in another forward steel. Let's take even more out of the clutch pack. Okay. Now I'm seeing that gap right here. That's what I want. And this spins a lot better. Back it off there. So you can take like that top seal. And what you're doing is you're leaving gap in there uh, for the clutches to slip, oil to flow past for lubrication and cooling. Hope that helps. We'll get into the forward later.